The kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus, the King, is coming to judge the world and to execute judgment on all the unrighteousness of men. Since the days of John the Baptist, the world has been warned to repent and prepare for the coming of Jesus. John the Baptist warned, his winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will thoroughly clear his threshing floor, and he will gather his wheat into the barn, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Matthew 3 verse 12 The first time Jesus came to save the world, the next time he will come to judge the world. The only way to enter the kingdom of God and have eternal life is to be born again. No sinners will enter heaven. Jesus came to save sinners, make them new inside, born again, to be holy children of God that obey Him. Jesus Himself delivered the words of eternal life, which are His words, the words that He spoke and his commandments. Those who disregard and disobey Jesus will perish. His words were recorded in Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Jesus said, He who believes in me does not believe in me, but in him who sent me. He who sees me sees the one who sent me. I have come as a light into the world, so that everyone who believes in me will not remain in darkness. If anyone hears my sayings and does not keep them, I do not judge him. For I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. He who rejects me and does not receive my sayings has one who judges him. The word that I spoke is what will judge him in the last day. For I did not speak on my own initiative, but the Father himself who sent me has given me a commandment as to what to say and what to speak. I know that his commandment is eternal life. Therefore, the things I speak, I speak just as the Father has told me. John 12, verse 44 to 50. The Gospel of Jesus is plain and simple, easy to understand. It is condensed in these verses that Jesus commanded to his disciples. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I commanded you. Matthew 28 verse 19 and 20. Also, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. He who has believed and has been baptized shall be saved, but he who has disbelieved shall be condemned. Mark 16 verse 15 and 16 Jesus did never and will never reject anyone who comes to him. He did not judge even the biggest sinner. He healed the sick and delivered the demon-possessed, but he commanded them to go and sin no more. All those who believed and repented were baptized in water by Jesus' disciples. Repent does not mean to admit you are a sinner. It means to turn away from sin, sin no more. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. Jesus gives new life to those who believe in Him, repent and are baptized. They are born again. They become children of God who live in obedience to Jesus' commandments. He also promised to give the Holy Spirit in them to help teach and guide them. But they must stay in obedience to Jesus, living holy and righteously, bearing fruit for the kingdom of God. Jesus is coming, and He will judge every man according to their deeds. Even in the days of John the Baptist, there were some who came for baptism, but they had never repented. They were still practicing sin. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming for baptism, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? 
Therefore bear fruit in keeping with repentance. Matthew 3 verse 7 and 8. Baptism without repentance is senseless. Many born-again Christians go back to unholiness and sin after being baptized. If they do not repent, they will perish. Many preachers, church leaders and evangelists are living in sin. Jesus called them false prophets. Beware of the false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Grapes are not gathered from thorn bushes, nor figs from thistles, are they? So every good tree bears good fruit, but the bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot produce bad fruit, nor can a bad tree produce good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. So then you will know them by their fruits. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven will enter. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name cast out demons? and in your name perform many miracles, and then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Matthew 7 verse 15 to 23 Many Christians are not ready. They are not living in communion with Jesus. Because they are worldly and in sin, their fruit is bad. They are bad trees. The kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus is coming to judge the world. But judgment will start with his children, the Christians. The Apostle Peter wrote, For it is time for judgment to begin with the household of God. And if it begins with us first, what will be the outcome for those who do not obey the gospel of God? And if it is with difficulty that the righteous is saved, what will become of the godless man and the sinner? 1 Peter 4 verse 17, 18 Jesus is coming. Are we ready? Repent before it is too late and bear fruit in keeping with repentance. Be a good tree because bad trees will be cut down and burned even though they were born again believers. Repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. May Jesus bless you. Jesus Christ is alive and hell is real. I am here to introduce you to Jesus Christ so that you can know Him and follow Him and have eternal life. Subscribe to my channel to learn more about Jesus. May Jesus bless you.